Casey never eats his dreams. <laughs> well, he ate them for me. Mm. Every last bite. Mm. Guess I just got the touch. Oh. <laughs> hi. Okay. Hey, May. Oh, hi, Lou. Hi. Hi there. So, are you giving them a run for their money this morning? <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> Good. The doctor says I'll be home tomorrow. Oh, now that I like to hear. I can't wait to get out of here. I bet. <laughs> Excuse me. You may be going home, but you're supposed to rest. Isn't that what they said, Justin? Almost to the word. So, if you won't cooperate, Grandma, I'll have to insist that they keep you locked up here in this room. Do you hear the way this child talks to me? It's a shame. What you got there? <laughs> Blueberry muffin. Mm. Fresh from the Spencer kitchen this morning. Mmm. Hey, smell just fine. Thanks, Justin. Mm. You know, if the nurses get wind of that, they're going to come running in here and snatch them right out of your hands. Y'all better eat them quick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Laura checked with your nutrition police there. <laughs> They're low in fat and high in blueberry. Where? Yeah, no, thank you. I already had four. <laughs> you got a minute? Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right, May. You get well and get out of here very soon. Thanks for coming, Liz. Yeah. And you keep her in line there, Sarge. Thanks, Liz. Bye. Justice, do you have a tuxedo? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, great. Laura and I, we have to go to this hospital benefit thing tonight. And you'd like to borrow my tux? No, actually, I rented one, but thank you anyway. Uh, we've got four tickets. We'd like you to get a date and come with us. Oh, well, that's neighborly of you, thank you. But I figured I'd hang around here, keep my grandmother company. Well, I understand that, but she seems to be doing well. And I think if you knew the guest list, you would be interested. Oh? Fill me in. Jack Boland, some of the city council members, everybody whose name starts with a Q. You know, pretty much anybody who moves and shakes anything bigger than a bread basket in this burg. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Let me check it out with Granny May, and if she can spare me, I'm there. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, do you really own a tuxedo? You would be amazed at how many bar association functions I'm required to attend every year. Ugh, oh, sounds awful. It is usually. Besides, I figure if I ever get drummed out of the law business, I can always become a maitre d' at one of your finer French restaurants. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's practical. Call and confirm with Laura, will you? Okay, I will. Bye. Table two. Right next to the quarter meals. <laughs> Ain't fate astonishing. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Go. Justice Ward. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Why is that, Mr. Quartermain? I was at your father's memorial service. Yes, yes, I saw you there. I found your eulogy quite moving, eloquent even. Thank you very much. My father's loss still affects me very deeply. How well did you know him? Hmm, not well. We had uh, business dealings, I guess you'd call it. Justice is staying in Fort Charles until this business of his father's death is resolved. Ah, it's unfortunate that I, I hope the police can find get to the bottom of it. Well, if assurances mean anything, they will. No, oh, and you're, uh, you're Keisha, huh? Yes. Are you planning to stay on as well? Yes, well, at least for the summer. Something Mimi is just delighted about. Yeah, well, it sounds like the wards are going to have as many family members under their roof as the quartermates. <laughs> Got all summer. <laughs> I agree. What do you think? <laughs> Undercurrents. Undercurrents. How can you tell? We spoke to them for five minutes. Oh, sometimes five minutes is enough. Good evening. Happy. Oh, baby, you look great. Red was always your color. <laughs> well, thank you. 
I considered two, but it seemed redundant, as well as thematically incorrect. Well, meet our friends. Justice and Keisha Ward, my sister, Bobby. Okay. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Hi. Hi. Very nice to meet you, too. Well, enjoy yourself. You're in a lot of pain. Yes, I am. Please remember something, right? We're your family. And no matter what happened or happens, you can count on us. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Come and join us for a minute. All right. Justice Keisha, you know, Bobby is the one who's responsible for getting us the tickets at such a late date. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes, you co-chaired the event in the beautiful. Yeah, so far. It certainly is. My cousin's already got a tennis date out of it. <laughs> I understand there's going to be some entertainment later. Right? Uh, Damien, what's the matter? Oh, well, it's nothing. Why don't we just get this over with, shall we? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sure, sir. Um, would, would you stay with Bobby? Yes. Regina? Thank you very much. But whatever we do. What's up? I don't know if I can get through this. 